What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Anand Sharma, and you are watching Anand Learning. So, guys, today we are going to be continuing with maths. If you didn't know this, I started off with mathematics. My first two videos are made on the mathematics, and today we are going to be continuing it. There is a pretty big gap between the two videos and this video. So, guys, the chapter which we are going to be doing is integers, and according to me, this is the easiest chapter of mathematics. So, let's start. In the previous videos, we discussed about adding integers. Now we're going to be starting off with subtracting integers. Now, adding, addition, and subtraction are inverse operations. They undo each other. So instead of subtracting a number, we can add their opposites. Let's take an example that you have to subtract minus four from minus nine. So we will write it like this: minus four minus minus nine which will convert into minus 4 plus 9 because these two minus signs are going to combine and become a plus sign. That is because, because there is even number of signs. 1, 2. 2 is an even number. Now imagine if there were 3 minus signs. Then we will not write minus 4 plus 9. It would become minus 4 minus 9 because there is an odd number of signs. If the, the same goes with the positive sign. If there were two plus signs over here, it would combine and form one plus sign. But if there were three, then it would combine and form a minus sign. Guys, it does not matter what is the number. There could be seven, minus, seven positive signs, but it will always turn into one negative sign. Let's see how we're going to be doing minus four plus nine. Here is a number line. This right here is minus four. One, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9. If we add 9 to minus 4, we're going to be getting 5. So minus 4 plus 9 is equal to 5. Let's talk about the properties of addition. Let's talk about the first property, which is closer property. The property says that the sum of two integers is always an integer, which means that 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. 7 is an integer. 5 is an integer and their, answer, their sum is going to be 12, which is also an integer. Same goes with these examples. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. These three are integers. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. Let's go it on to the second property. This is property number 2. The order of addends does not matter in an addition, which means that A plus B is equal to B plus A. For example, if you have to add 10 plus 5, 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. If we flip it, it is known as, it will be become 5 plus 10, which is also 15. Same goes with 27 plus 33. 27 plus 33 is equal to 60. If we flip it, it's going to become 33 plus 27, which is also is equal to 60. This tells us that the order of addends does not matter in an addition. These two numbers are addends. These two numbers which are being added. Let's talk, get on to the third property, associative property. The order of operations does not matter in an addition. For example, you have three numbers which you have to add. Say 4, 7 and 3. So first you're going to be writing it 4 plus 7 plus 3. Then you have to choose any two numbers which you are going to add first. So in this case, we have chosen 4 and 7. So we are going to write 4 and 7 in a bracket. And because of the board mass rule, we have to solve the numbers in the bracket first. So 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. And 11 plus 3 is equal to 14. If we, if we would have selected 7 and 3, we would have written 7 and 3 in a bracket. And using board mass, we would have first added 7 plus 3. That would have been 10. And then we, are, we, we would have added 4, which would have made it 14. Which would have, which would have made it 14. Pro, let's talk about the property number 4. Existence of additive identity. Now, if we add 0 to any number, the answer will be, guess what, I'll give you 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4, 5. 5. Uh, the answer will be the number itself. Let's take an example. 489 plus 0 is equal to 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 489. 
Got it? Let's get on to the next property. Property number five, existence of additive inverse. Now, now if we add the absolute value of a number to itself, the answer will be now, guys, the absolute, I've discussed this in the previous videos, but once more I'll discuss it. The absolute value of a number is basically its opposite on a number line. For example, on the absolute value of 4 will be minus 4. Because, let's take this number line, for example. See, let's find the absolute value of minus 5. So, let's see, minus 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4 five places behind or, or to the left of zero. To find its absolute value, we're going to go five places to the right of zero, which would be one, two, three, four, five. So the absolute value of minus five would be five. Okay, so let, now I answer this question. If we add the absolute value of a number to itself, the answer will be one, two, three, four, and five. The answer is zero. For example, if we add five plus minus five, the answer will be zero. Guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you have any doubt, leave it down in the comments. I'll surely try my best to solve them. Guys, that's it. Goodbye.